Hi everyone, I'm back from my vacation. Uh, I went to Seattle and now I'm back in Chicago. Uh, today I want to share with you the pattern for these earrings. These are tatted earrings and uh, so these are diamond uh, in shape. Uh, you will need the, uh, a DMC diamond silver thread. This is a very, very thin thread. This is silver in color and it looks very good in uh, a lamp uh, light because it, uh, it has a lot of shimmer in it. You can use any thread, but I prefer this thread for it. It's, uh, it's called DMC Diamond. After that, you will need pearly beads. I'm using a 4mm pearly bead. This is 4mm in size. For these earrings, I have uh, actually used a bigger, si bigger uh, size uh, pearly bead. This is around 5mm or so. Then you will need fish hooks. This is silver fish hook. Uh, this is to hold the earring. Looks like this. And then you will need a small hook to pull the thread. Uh, I am actually using my tatting shuttle because it has a really small hook but you can use any of the hooks that you will have any of the crochet hooks for demonstration I'm going to use this crochet thread instead of using the DMC diamond because it will be more uh, visible in the video I am taking the crochet thread and I'm using the tatting needle appropriate for it I'm threading it and I'm going to leave around this much around uh, 20 inches of tail that should be enough for one earring now this side is connected to the ball whereas this side is the tail so the right side is the tail now I need to make a ring first for making the ring I'll do three double stitches, one, two, three, a small pico, a small pico is of the size of one double stitch. So the gap of the pico is the same as a double stitch. Now three more double stitches. Another small pico, three more double stitches, another small pico, and three more double stitches. So that makes one ring. I'm going to pull through, and in this I'm going to uh, insert my hook, my needle and pull through. That's my first string. Now I'm going to make a small knot. At this very end, I'm going to put my needle and I'll make the same ring once again with three double stitches. This is the point where this pico has to be attached to this. So I'm going to take my hook in the last pico which is closest to the needle. I'm going to insert, pull this thread which is coming from the ball, pull it all the way and place it over the needle and pull this. I'll not pull it too tight because I want my double stitches to stand. Now that made one, uh, one of the loops is lying on the needle. So I'll just complete that double stitch by doing the second half of the double stitch. So that was one double stitch. I'll make two more. Then a small pico. Three double stitches. Small pico. Three double stitches, and 
and that's it one two three I need to have three picots now pull through and I always hold this loop and pull through it that's the second uh, ring now I'm going to tie a knot now it's time for the third uh, ring I'll make three double stitches through this picot which is closest to the needle I'm going to pull this a thread which is coming from the ball and place it over to the needle and pull it back not very tight and complete the double stitch by doing the second half of the double stitch so that's one double stitch two three so now I need to make one picot, small picot, three double stitches, another small picot, and three double stitches. So I got three picots here. One was this one, which got attached to this ring. This was the second one, and this is the third one. That completes my ring. Now I'm going to pull through and close the loop and tie a knot when I pull the ring I make sure that all the three rings are of the same size now I need to turn my work And here from where the thread is coming from the ball here I need to make a chain I'll make a chain of three double stitches now I'll make a long picot this long so in this long picot I need to insert my pearl so I'll make it long enough so that the pearl goes in and then I have a little gap to use the pico for joining. So that should be long enough. I will complete the next three double stitches. One, two and three. Pull through the chain and since it's a chain I will not insert in the loop I'll not hold the loop I'll make a knot now I'll turn my work again so the reason why I turned my work was so that these point downwards these are pointing upwards and the chain is pointing downwards if we compare this this is where we are we made a chain um, a ring three rings and then we made this chain there are actually four chains here which you cannot see very uh, well but maybe later on you will find it out now again I need to make these three chains uh, three three rings put your uh, needle close to this and make three double stitches one small pico and three double stitches those are three double stitches small pico and three double stitches now I'm going to join it until now I was joining the, th the, uh, the third pico to the first pico of each ring but when I move on to the next set of three rings I need to join the second ring as the second pico to the second pico of this one so I'm going to insert my hook here which is the second pico of the third ring pull it 
place it i'm pulling the uh, the yarn which is coming from the ball and then finish the double stitch by doing the second half of double stitch two more double stitches small pico and three double stitches so I got one pico here second pico and this was the third pico now I'll pull through and I'm holding the ring making sure that this ring looks like this one now it's time for the second ring I'll do three double stitches now I will connect this to the third pico of the first ring mm, leaving it a little loose so that both the double stitches lay flat now complete the double stitch by doing the second half of the double stitch two more double stitches one pico small pico three double stitches one small pico and three double stitches so i got three picots now i'll pull the ring make a knot now third ring three double stitches join the pico to the third pico of the second ring Three double stitches one small pico three double stitches one small pico and three double stitches So I got one, two and three picots. So that completes my third ring. Tie the knot. Now turn the work. It's time to make this chain again. The chain was supposed to be three double stitches I'm putting it as close as possible to the point where the ball uh, thread is coming from one two three another long picot this long picot should be a little shorter than this long picot because I will not use this long picot to insert the pearl. This is uh, this will be used later on just for joining. Another three double stitches. Pull through the chain. Pull through 
pull it a little tight so that all these double stitches are closest to each, closer to each other tie a knot and turn the work now even these are pointing downwards as they're supposed to be now I need to make another three rings in the same uh, with the same pattern if it's not coming properly then just make sure that your threads are lying in this in the right direction so that your double stitches don't twist now I'm going to make three rings quickly the first peacock will be not attached to anything the second peacock has to be attached to the second peacock of this one now three double stitches one small picot and three double stitches pull through the ring and close the loop tie the knot turn your work for the chain make three double stitches now this is the time when we will insert the hook, uh, pearl so let me get my pearl out I have made three double stitches of this chain now uh, at this point where I had to have a pico I need to join it to the first pico, first long pico that I made in the first chain. But here in this pico I need to insert the pearl. But as you can see the pearl has a very tiny hole so it may not go directly into it. So the technique that I use is I uh, have this small string. You can either use a string or a wire and insert it into this long pico like this and join the ends of this string together and so this is how it is right now in these two uh, ends of the string insert the pearl that's it now pull through and let this go all the way down now this from this loop whatever extra is left I'll insert my hook and I will pull the thread for the for joining the pico so here I'm going to pull this and place it over the needle And I can remove the string we don't need it anymore so this is how the pearl comes in the center of this flower now I'll continue by closing the double stitch by doing the back loop and then I'll do two more double stitches to finish the chain Now pull making a knot now turn your work again and this is the fourth flower So for the fourth flower, we have to do the same thing. We need to make three rings. Now the second ring 
three double stitches join the third pico and place it over the needle do three double stitches now here this is supposed to be a chain not a ring the reason is that we need to insert the fresh fish hook now so I'm going to take out my fish hook and this is the place which will hold the ring so first I'm going to close this chain and tie the knot you can see it's already taking shape now this is the which is the front side this is the front side so my hook needs to look like this the that this thing is going to go back so I have to insert this is the thread which is coming from the needle I'm going to insert like this and then I will tie a knot with this and I can just do it one more time maybe for uh, more strength I'll do it again from the same direction Oops. and then tie another knot now I have to finish this ring by making a chain so this ring is actually two chains, not a ring. So I'll keep it close to this and I'll make a chain of three double stitches, a small pico and again three double stitches. Close the chain all the double stitches closer and tie a knot now this needs to be inserted here this needs to join here at this point where my first ring was starting so here I'm going to insert this needle And maybe tie a knot once again after that's done I need to make the third ring here which will be again three double stitches I'll join that to the third pico and three more double stitches and yeah this is the second pico now the second pico has to be joined to this point to the first flower for that I have to put it like this it has to be joined to the front side so direction is something that I have to take care of at this point if your uh, thread which is coming from the ball is lying at the back bring it to the uh, front and now this is the time where I have to join 
the first flower and the fourth flower so that it forms the diamond shape so I'm going to it has to be joined from the front so I'll go into the pico of the first flower and I'll pull the thread and place it over the needle and complete the double stitches I need to make three double stitches a small pico and three double stitches now close this ring Just make sure that all the double stitches are taking the right shape and then tie the knot. So this is the front side. Now the last step which is left is I have to make a chain which joins this end to this end and that chain's pico will join this pico. So I turned, did I turn my work? No, I have to put this thread to the back side. The chain will come from the back side and I will also pull this thread which is coming from the ball a little at the back side so that I can use it and now I have to join this and this so the direction of my chain will be like this so I will do three double stitches After three double stitches, I have to join it to this pico, which is the long pico which I made in the second chain. So I can again use the same technique of here. I don't need to insert any pearl, so I just need to join this pico. So I inserted my hook into the second pico and I'm just pulling the thread out of it and putting on to the needle just try to place it exactly under the pearl and pull this thread as much as it is required to make this diamond uh, shape sit flat so that's enough and now I'm going to finish the rest of the double stitches so I'll make three more double stitches Pull the chain and join it by a knot to the thread from the ball like that and this needs to be this chain which is loose right now it needs to be attached here at this point from where the first chain is coming so what I am going to do is I am just going to insert my hook I mean my needle into this 
yeah, pull that tight and again make a knot with the thread from the ball. That's it. Now I can just cut off. I'll cut off both the threads. And this will just go. Yeah, this is the front side. And you can see it looks so pretty. Right now it's quite big because it's made from a crochet thread. But if you make using the silver thread that I was telling you, it will be of this size. And this is how it looks from the back. You can just hide these threads. Thank you so much for watching.